So it's good that you came in now. Before. Oh no, yeah. Like since yesterday being at the emergency and then like experiencing some of the pain, like I wasn't wasn't excruciating, but it was enough that it woke me up. And I thought I can't leave this like any longer. It's been since, like I said, I noticed it February, but it could have been way before that. But even like the last three, three months, it wasn't really hurting you. It was just kind of there. No, it was like I couldn't. I can only wear like to work. I was only wearing my Converse. Yeah. Because it didn't. Because I have a pair of Nikes that I can't wear because of the seam at the top, and hitting it was hurting me. And then the Converse, because it's got that big patch of rubber, and then I'm able to bend my foot. It wasn't hurting, and now that it's warmer weather, I wear these, and then I have like a, like on my form just some flats. Yeah. But I can move all of my toes in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the freezing. So I'm making a little toothpick. Okay. Something a little yeah. sharp. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna touch the top of your foot so you can feel sharp. Yeah. Sharp, right? Pressure is normal, but you shouldn't feel anything sharp. No. No. Nothing sharp? No. I'm, I'm waiting. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so you're good. I'm waiting for it to hurt. Oh my god. It's not going to hurt. So, only thing you gotta do is just relax. Yeah. Pressure is normal. If you see, feel something more than pressure, you let me know. Okay. So you just searched on the internet for a foot clinic or? Yeah, my husband and I this morning, we were like looking. This and... morning you booked this? Yeah. Oh wow. Because- You snuck in because then that means someone must have canceled it. Well, Laura was really nice enough to say that I was able to come at 345 because I was like, it was hurting me. Yeah. And she's like, if you can make it at 345. So I left work because I work in Toronto and I left yeah. work at like 10 to three. And because of some traffic on the Queens, I got here a bit later. Uh, I met, I got up here. And I guess to me, I was just getting a little more scared too of leaving it untreated. And, you know, it's, and I know it's not normal. Like, it shouldn't feel this way. No, nope, it shouldn't. And it shouldn't look that way. No, nope. You did and all the right things. I know we probably, like, we, we kind of thought maybe the nail is dead. But it's yeah. so weird, like, it's growing in, though. It, it's not growing it's not in, growing it's in. lifted but it's not growing out. Right. So you have this kind of space underneath the cuticle that's open to bacteria to get in and it's not moving out. So let me just wipe down this toe with a little bit of antibacterial ointment. It is so bumpy, huh? Mm -hmm. Where that cuticle is. Yeah. Did I leave it too long? It's it's not bad, but it's longer than it should have been. But it's not at a stage where it's dangerous for your health okay. as of yet, so you're okay that sense. So, your body though, because you've taken the oral antibiotics, it really does help control the infection. Mm, this and was like a while ago. This was not right now. But even then, it, at mm -hmm. least it can help and you did the topical, yeah. you did all those things. So what this is, this is a rubber band, a tourniquet. So there's very little to no bleeding, so we can see everything very clearly. The doctor at um, the walk-in clinic, when I told him I was on my way like, to finish the antibiotics, but it still looked the same. And then he said that sometimes uh, it, you know, medication to the foot takes longer to get to. It can, if the blood supply is not good, but yours seems pretty good. So we're going to do one little check without you watching. Anything sore here? No. Here? No. Well, I can tell you right now, there's already some pus in here. Look at that. Should I film this? I'm filming this. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> there is pus in here if you want to okay. look. You see all this? Oh, wow. There it is. So anything sharp here? No. Oh, my gosh. So... We're separating the nail. Really? It's, yeah, it's completely lifted the back. The front is attached still, but here it's all lifted.
No pain, huh? No. Oh. So we're gonna pull this guy out. Yeah, it was, see how it came out like that? This was completely detached at the back. Look at that. It was all lifted at the back, not sealed at all. Wow. And we've got lots of bad tissue here. Getting rid of all this bad cuticle that was injured as well. And so you notice that your nail was not growing at all, huh? Mm -hmm. No, it was not. So normally underneath, it's nice and smooth underneath the cuticle, but I see that's really jagged. It's just really injured underneath here. Any pain? Mm -mm. So just making sure, yeah, everything is still sealed. Yeah, so all the trauma is right at the very, very back. So it took out all the nail, took out all the bad skin. We're gonna flush this out, uh, put on an antibiotic cream and let the nail grow out. But there was pus, the whole back was all lifted. So I'll show you exactly where it's. So that whole portion here, all this, mm -hmm. was open. So this is where the nail was. It was just completely lifted mm -hmm. from the back end. And so it created a small little space that we can't even see, but here that allowed bacteria to get in and just form this little cave of infection. So is there anything else in there? There's no, no more nail. Wow. And it's not even bleeding that much? because of the tourniquet. Oh. Are you flexible enough to take a look inside? <laughs> Here. Wow. Yeah, no more nail. But now the body can heal properly. Mm -hmm. No, for sure, yeah, like. Yeah, so now the body can heal. So all you gotta do very simple. You mm -hmm. already have the fusion and cream that they gave you before. Just apply it. And for you, probably the best thing to do is just a band-aid. Like how long? Morning and night, every single day for a week until we see each other again and take a look to see how it's doing. Okay. So fusion and cream on top of that? No, so just fusion and cream. Yeah, right on top of the nail bed and a band-aid. Okay, for a week. For a week, then we come back and take a look to see how everything's doing. And then usually we switch to a brown liquid, the one that I put on before we started, mm -hmm. just to dry everything up. Okay. So. And then, so you said for the numbing, it's going to be four to six hours, you said? Yes. Okay. So what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. If this bleeds through, it's normal. Okay. Just take everything off and redress it later tonight. Okay. Uh, but the safest thing to do is tomorrow morning, take everything off, put on the cream, put on the band-aid. If you want to shower, shower with the dressing on so it's covered, then take the dressing off, dry it, and put on your next one. Or should I not get it wet? No, you can. It'll be fine. So leave this on? Yeah, leave this on if it doesn't bleed through till tomorrow morning. Okay. And you can shower, take everything off, change it to the cream and a band-aid, which I'm going to give you now. Okay. And you do that the same thing in the night. Okay. So morning and night, yep. every day, for a week. Yes. 
Thank you.